Hi everybody, I thought I'd come with a follow-up video to uh, the total solar eclipse that's coming up as every or mostly everybody knows on April 8th, 2024, but I found some more information that I haven't seen anybody present, but my focus is going to be more over Texas with the last annular ring of fire eclipse on October 14th, where the eclipses both enter Texas and exit Texas. And so there's information with that. But with this upcoming one, there's a rare double diamond ring eclipse that will occur on April 8th. And I think this is like super prophetic and a huge, huge, massive sign. So I thought I'd present this here. This video won't be terribly long, but I wanted to get this out as quickly as I could. And I'll go from here. So let me say quickly, uh, just about every single slide, all of my graphics are courtesy of uh, the website greatamericaneclipse.com. I'm not associated with this company at all. I have bought maps from them, but since I'm using virtually all of their picks, I, I think they need a huge shout out. So. so you might be asking, what is a double diamond ring eclipse? So the definition is, quote, a double diamond ring is a rare phenomena when two slivers of the sun suddenly and simultaneously appear to flash and extinguish during the beginning and ending of totality of a total solar eclipse. So that's what it is. So two slivers of the sun simultaneously appearing at the beginning and ending of totality to be repetitive. But And here's an actual photo of the double diamond ring that was taken on November 3rd, 2013 in Africa and here's the information of the person who took the photo. I can't even attempt to pronounce his name, but here's a picture of the rare double diamond eclipse with the two slivers of light or the two slivers of the sun. And here's another photo of a rare double diamond ring eclipse that was taken on July 2nd, 2019 in Chile. So here's a map of Texas and where the two uh, eclipses intersect. This one being the annular solar eclipse that occurred on October 14th, 2020, where it exited over Corpus Christi, Texas, the body of Christ. And here's the upcoming total solar eclipse that will be entering the United States at Texas over Eagle Pass and then going upward towards Little Egypt and then all the way through the eastern seaboard of the United States exiting at Nova Scotia. But my focus here will be strictly over the state of Texas where the annular solar eclipse exited at Corpus Christi. And this one, this upcoming one, April 8th, will enter the state of Texas at Eagle Pass. So here's a map of the annular solar eclipse that occurred on October 14th, 2023, last year. And it exited at Corpus Christi, Texas here at about 12 noon. And you can see more information on this uh, at Steve Fletcher 222's channel and also Ricardo Garcia as well as my channel. Um, so, but that occurred last year and that was the Ring of Fire one and Corpus Christi means the body of Christ. I know this is a bit of an eye chart, but here's the upcoming one on April 8th, 2020, where it will pass through Mexico 
and then enter right here into Texas. Uh, the area in pink is the area of totality. So you see Eagle Pass right here. And the lines in green and blue are where you see what the most prominent part of the double diamond ring uh, eclipse. So Eagle Pass is the closest to that location. So they're saying a few miles north of Eagle Pass, Texas is a prime location to see this double diamond ring uh, phenomena, which is a rare one. And you can see that primarily, as it said at the uh, for the definition, at the beginning and end of totality. But what's interesting is at the end of the totality at Eagle Pass, Texas, it occurs at 3.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time on April 8th. So they'll be uh, at Central Daylight Time instead of Central Standard Time right now. But if you read as with Hebrew, from right to left, you get a 153. And you know 153 was the 153 fish that is mentioned in John, uh, I believe, chapter 20, verse 21, that was caught. So that was actually mentioned in John chapter 21, verse 11. And let me read a verse or two beforehand. It says, Then as soon as they had come to land, they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring me some of the fish which you have just caught. In verse 11, Simon Peter went up and drug the net to land full of large fish, 153. And that's where it is in verse 11. And although there were so many fish, the net was not broken. So that seems to be one of the Bible verses that alludes to the great uh, catching uh, of the fish which is the church and also alluding to the rapture. So here's a map of the one that's crossing nearest to Little Egypt in Illinois, closest to Carbondale uh, right here, which you'll also be able to see this double diamond ring um, phenomena. But I just thought I'd uh, just bring up the map here for you guys to see. But there's so many channels such as Aaron's Got a Minute channel and other channels that are already covering this. But um, so I just thought I'd bring this up briefly and then go back to the Texas information. So like I mentioned, the annular ring of fire uh, eclipse that occurred on October 14th, its exit location in Texas was Corpus Christi meaning the body of Christ, and then the upcoming one on April 8th, its entrance location uh, will be near Eagle Pass, Texas. But I thought I'd do a geometric triangulation uh, because that's something I uh, that came to mind, and I thought I'd take a look at that. And the triangulation point is near Buena Vista, Texas, and the latitude and longitude for Buena Vista, Texas is 23 point, I mean 26.3 degrees north, and that's actually the Christ angle. I know many of you are not familiar with that, but I won't go into it here, but uh, it's known as the Christ angle, this 26.3, and then it's 98.6 degrees west and that's actually the 96.8 is the normal human body temperature and i thought right away it seems to be alluding to fully man and fully god so here's corpus christi texas right here and then here's Eagle Pass, Texas, right on the 
Mexican Texas border and so if you do a triangulation you end up with Buena Vista Texas that's right inside the border of Texas as well along the Rio Grande River before it goes into the Gulf of Mexico so again Buena Vista Texas from north latitude is 26 point three degrees and that's known as the Christ angle because I'll go into here uh, a little bit so that's the angle formed from Cairo Egypt where they believe Joseph and Mary fled with baby Jesus to Bethlehem Israel from due east and it's also the angle formed from Cairo Egypt going southward towards Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia. So that's the Christ angle, 26.3 degrees. And then Buena Vista, Texas, west longitude is 98.6 degrees. And that's the normal human body temperature, thus it being fully man and fully God, which points directly to Jesus Christ. So although I live to, uh, next door to Texas in New Mexico, I've never heard of Buena Vista, Texas. So I thought I'd put in the Christ angle and the human body temperature. Uh, so that's uh, shown here. Gives you Buena Vista, Texas. And this is what you get in Google Maps. And I thought this was the this was the only picture that popped up along with this location uh, at this red pointer, and I thought this was really interesting. So this is the only picture that was associated with Buena Vista, Texas, uh, in Google Maps, and it's a red heifer. So I was like, wow, how prophetic is this? So. Uh, this is, that's, I believe, another sign, just, I don't believe this is coincidence. Anyways, I thought I'd bring this information out to you. So I believe that this double ring, double diamond ring, which is rare and associated with this upcoming eclipse on April 8, 2024, is a massive prophetic sign and along with everything else that you've seen on the other YouTube channels out there with the crisscrossing of the X, the Aleph Tav, the Salem's and Nineveh and all of the stuff you've seen on the various YouTube channels. I think this is just, in my opinion, uh, just the icing on top of the cake with this being a rare double diamond ring eclipse. So anyways, I hope this has been a blessing to you. And please keep watch of this date. I know I had put uh, the projected, and I'm not saying thus says the Lord, it's just possible rapture dates in my last video is being between uh, the day before uh, the leap day on February 28th, all the way through Shavuot. And I have that as being around May 18th. I know there are various calendars out there, but they're all within the same uh, time frame. Uh, so either way, if it's a month later or whatsoever, or there, it's still in the same season. But I believe... Uh, this is now my number one predicted uh, rapture date. And again, this is just uh, a predicted rapture date and not saying that it will occur, but hopefully. But anyways, I, again, I hope this has been a blessing to you and we shall soon see. Anyways, I will talk to you later or, or I'll see you in the sky. Take care.